Have you heard of reality shifting subliminals before? I mean, you probably have because I literally make them on this channel. Uh, so there's a good chance you've watched at least one of them. But what's the best one? And I wanna explain how you can choose the best one. And you know, there's so many to choose from, so many thousands of tracks on YouTube, especially. Uh, these reality shifting subliminals, binaural beats, you know, shifting tracks. How do you know which ones work and which ones don't work? There's actually a very easy way to tell. So let's get into it. By the way, I do have a really detailed kind of webinar style video about shifting on my YouTube channel. There's no catch. The link is in the description or the pinned comment. And if you're new to this, if you don't know how to shift, it explains so clearly all of the different techniques and kind of compares them, uh, tells you different warnings and tips and hacks and things. Go and check it out. I think you'll love it. So the subliminals that you listen to need to be powerful. But if they are gonna be the most powerful that they can be, you shouldn't know what they are. The reason for this is that when you kind of listen to a subliminal, if you know what it is, if you know the message behind that subliminal, then your subconscious mind and your conscious mind is able to filter it through your own belief system. So you, especially if you have a limiting belief, you can kind of hold yourself back and tell yourself, no, that won't work, or that's crazy, that, that's impossible. So the best subliminals are the ones that are simple, but also you don't know what they are because our subconscious mind blocks things especially if we have limiting beliefs or negative programming. So at least when you're first starting out, the best subliminals are the ones you don't know about. Secondly, with sound quality, um, you know, the sad truth is that a lot of YouTube videos, they downcode the video, especially with audio tracks. So you think you're getting a good quality, but the actual frequencies, which is really how this stuff works, right? The frequencies behind the ambient sounds are downcoded. The frequencies are downcoded, so they're not going to be as effective compared to if you actually bought the tracks or found like a high quality version or something like that. The other problem with YouTube, and I've seen this on a, a number of other kind of track creator channels, is that some people will forget to turn ads off. So you'll actually be in the, you'll be listening to a track and then halfway through you'll get an ad pop up and it's very distracting, very annoying. It ruins the whole, you know, vibe of the thing. Uh, so hopefully, and message me or, you know, comment if I have got this wrong, but on all of my subliminal tracks, I turn ads off in the middle. So the only ad you see is when you first start the video. And this is just to help kind of fund the development of the tracks. They take a long time to render and everything. Uh, so there's just like a, a 20 second ad at the start and then nothing for the whole, um, you know, eight hours or whatever. So hopefully you, you appreciate that. Um, the only, other, the only other thing which I have no control over is on YouTube, if you watch a video for long enough, eventually it will, ask, it will bring up a little pop-up saying, are you, are you still watching? And it pauses the video when it does this. It's very annoying, especially if you're you know, asleep or you're in the middle of meditation or you're deep in your uh, visualization ritual and you get to pop up and it pauses the video and it's, it, it's very annoying. So that's a, a massive downside with listening to subliminal tracks on YouTube. So the best tracks, in my opinion, are the ones which have ambient noises. So, you know, nice relaxing sounds, melodies, uh, ambient noises that are so beautifully made that you almost don't notice the binaural beats. You almost, well, you shouldn't notice the subliminals at all, but you, you don't really notice the, the binaural beats and the isochronic tones and the frequencies because they're kind of masked by the ambient music. The reason for this is that if you clearly hear the beats, if you clearly hear the vibrating frequency of the binaural beats, it doesn't really work as well. You know, the best, the best tracks in, in my experience have been the ones where you don't hear the frequency. Instead, you're just kind of lulled into a state of relaxa relaxation by the ambient sounds. And then after a while you realize, oh, wow, I'm in a really deep state of meditation or, you know, I'm lucid dreaming or I'm shifting or whatever. And, it's happened almost by accident because you didn't realize it was happening. You didn't realize the frequencies were slowly changing your brainwave state to, uh, you know, be in the correct frequency because it was so cleverly masked by the ambient sounds. You'll know that you'll know the opposite of this very clearly when you experience it. If you hear these tracks, which is just like a, an almost annoying kind of pulsing, like that kind of sound. Um, I mean, on the one hand, it's good because you can hear the binaural beats working, but on the other hand, it's distracting, it's quite annoying, you know, it doesn't sound good, most of them, and it doesn't work as effectively as if you didn't know it was there. So that's just my opinion on the tracks. Hopefully, you know, 
I make my tracks in that way. I'd love to hear what you think about them because I'm trying to improve them all the time. And if you are trying to shift, if you're trying to listen to these subliminal tracks, please click the link in the description and watch my YouTube video about shifting. It explains exactly how to do it. It goes through like different techniques and um, uh, different warnings and things like that. It's a very powerful way of learning how to shift. And if you're a beginner, it will show you everything you need to know. So go and check that out. The link is in the uh, description.